Um, I got involved in the befriending through the college I was at. I was looking to do some sort of volunteer work just to gain experience to help me get into university. They put me in touch with the befriending and that's how I got involved at first. I went for my training and then got hooked up with, with Kevin. Me and Kevin, we usually go fishing down to the reservoir. When me and Robert go fishing, Robert always, when I'm trying to get my notes and that done up to put my hooks on, Robert always helps me with that. I help Kevin set up his rod, try to show him how to set up his hooks and his weights. We've only been a couple of times, so he's still learning, but he'll be able to get that done himself soon. Yeah, I wouldn't have normally went out because I wouldn't, I didn't have a rod and I didn't know how to set it up or anything. Now that I enjoy fishing, I was able to go out and get my own stuff, fishing rods and hooks, and that was thanks to the befriend and all. Yeah, I was fishing with my big cousin and her boyfriend and they caught quite a few fish when we were fishing with them. So we did. First time that I went fishing, I was looking forward to it. And then we got there, it was quite a wet day, but we got there and we were doing fishing. But unluckily we didn't catch it because Robert wanted to fish with sweet corn. I don't know, I think he thought the fish were vegetarian. It's a... Uh... A trick I used, I uh, learned when I went to a fish farm, that you can use sweet corn or cheese. It was quite popular down south. And seeing as it was Kevin's first time trying fishing, I thought it'd be nice and easy to use sweet corn. Plus the fact that the first time we were going fishing, it was mainly to show Kevin how to set up the rod and cast and that sort of thing. So I didn't really think the, the bait would be too important. Robert was scared of maggots and worms, so we didn't catch in. The fishing's quite good because it gives us a chance to sit down and talk, whereas if we're going to the cinema or something, then that's us, we're sitting in silence for about an hour and a half. My friend then lets me like, put all my worries aside and just go out and have fun. Build up my hopes and all that and it's got me excited because sometimes I have been let down and this has been a big thing for me. Gives me the opportunity to do things that I wouldn't normally do. Going ice skating, things like that, that I've not done for, for years, going playing basketball. Go play football in the park and gives me another friend as well. I did some voluntary mentoring in, in Fort Rose Academy. I love to be working with young people, I get so much from them. And I've always had a good rapport with them, I don't know why, I just have. I found out from uh, Mrs Christie about the project. I wasn't too sure at first, but when I met Debbie, she introduced me to Bobby. Sometimes it's um, Tuesday, she comes and picks me up from college at uh, 12. But sometimes she comes to the house and takes me like, to, 
Tomek or Umel? We, we actually, we're very greedy. We go and gorge ourselves at all these sort of posh little places that Cheryl's never been before. I mean, I enjoy it too. <laughs> There's a local hairdressers in the street that I've applied for, but I'm still waiting to hear from them if I've got accepted. never used to have a lot of friends and I made um, a lot of friends at college. One of my mates got in first and when I found out and I didn't want her to go by herself so I put an application form for it and I was, we were both really excited that I got in. And they just treat you like an adult at college. I just want to get a job that I really like and start my own business with a better friend. We, we just chat, don't we? As if we're the same age. We talk about everything. You know, animals, people, anything going, really. So I, I, I don't find there's a, the age gap. I never have, though. I, I don't... Um, I don't... I've probably seen myself mentally probably the same age as her, you know. I used to be uh, happy when I first came into the Cosme, but... Over the years, um, everyone started um, calling me names and that. I used to go on the uh, stops not at school, but not, I don't do that anymore. I've been had a smile on my face ever since then. So, seeing Cheryl being now a normal, happy, pretty, well-dressed teenager, the same as everybody else, and looking forward to a good life. And that, that that's. That's it. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The reason I wanted to get involved with the befriending is because when I was getting befriended, it helped me a lot. It helped me realise different things in life, such as in, there's better things out there and you're able to be much happier and also see what you can achieve by making people smile the way I smiled when somebody helped me in my situations. Even if it's the smallest situation, it still helped me a great deal. Well, it's kind of made me more aware of other people's feelings as well, you know. Saying the right things and the wrong things. It actually encouraged me to go out more, go up town shopping, meet my friends and that. I'm more, I'd go out a bit more now because before I was kind of, you know, couldn't trust me, could have got lost, you know, time-wise, lost track of time. There is volunteer nights out. It's very good because everybody can like talk to each other, they can get to know each other and make some really good friends. Oh, there was a barbecue. It's a quite a nice barbecue and it was kind of like last year. And I kind of enjoyed that one because it gave me some freedom to do my impersonations with, you know, nobody saying shut up or too noisy to something. And that's kind of a really good thing for me because I kind of, you know, those nights I can let myself kind of, you know, all my impersonations come out because it's not as bad as if it's out like in the cinema, you know. You don't want to go, I'm a lady, I'm really hard in a cinema, do you? There's one, there's a girl called Kaz that we actually really good friends because, well, we just basically get along. Because I don't want to go out anymore. Cause, but I do go out, but I'm not wanting to go out and teaport and all that unless it's with somebody, I know. Craig is very good at his personations and there's no hint to be ashamed of because when I, I was doing things like that and people might look at you and think to themselves, what is he doing? Nobody should have to look at other people like that and in the end of the day you should feel like you're able to do what you want just about without feeling upset at the end of it. I 
after a when me and Craig do come to an end, I still do want to keep in contact. And I think it has actually quite helped a bit because I'm more sort of independent myself so I can go up to anyone and that and do anything I want.